that i used to i started to think that uh, what can be the impact of such mistakes when we go forward in life like we are all giving this exam because we want to become an engineer and tomorrow if we become a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer or electrical engineer and we make such mistakes it can lead to loss of life also so i am aryaman bhatia a student of the pinnacle two year integrated program at fitji mumbai I have achieved a rank of 651 in JEE Advanced and 969 in JEE Mains 2023. So the major challenges that I faced during my preparation for JEE was uh, firstly distractions and laziness and secondly carelessness which caused me to make lot of silly mistakes. So if I elaborate on the first point which was uh, distractions and laziness how did I overcome this? The way I overcame this was by trying to take interest in the subjects that I was studying for JE. So for me it was not so difficult to do that in physics because physics was naturally uh, it's naturally interesting to me and then when you solve the problems you can see how it is useful also. Uh, but it was little bit challenging in maths because you don't directly see that uh, what the application is but like if you follow the logical flow in maths from basic things to complicated things you start to see the beauty in that also as a subject once i started enjoying the process of studying and i started liking the subjects then the friction was not so much that i would feel lazy to study and i would not even want like want to do something else so even my distractions automatically started getting eliminated and to elaborate on the second point which was carelessness which caused me to make silly mistakes but one thing that helped me at least reduce them from a higher level was that i used to i started to think that uh, what can be the impact of such mistakes when we go forward in life like we are all giving this exam because we want to become an engineer and tomorrow if we become a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer or electrical engineer and we make such mistakes it can lead to loss of life also so the 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 not avoiding the mistakes now the skill which we will learn from that is really required in the field that we are entering so i took this as a motivation to try and reduce my mistakes and be more careful in everything i do because the cost of not uh, cost of making mistakes is very big so some of the secret ingredients that i have to achieve success in the exam would be that i had a very strong exam temperament and i would thrive in the situation of a exam and that's because i try to see the exam as if i'm playing a game and i'm like i would really enjoy that process you should never leave a easy question in the exam like many people try to f- solve the exam in some particular order and then if they are not able to complete many times they are, they leave the easy questions also or the places where they are strong also so never you should never leave a easy question and you should never spend too much time on a question that is too uh, that you are not able to solve at the day of the exam you should uh, just move on from that question and you should try to start enjoying that process if you derive enjoyment from it then you don't feel that stress even during the exam so uh, as far as it goes with the systems at fitji the one thing that helped me the most was the number of mock tests that were conducted towards the end so not only did that help me improve my exam temperament but even if i had some weaknesses in the past the sheer number of questions that we solved in that even if i was not able to do something earlier i i started getting it because of the number of tests that we gave and secondly the faculty at fitji their door was always open to us whenever we had a doubt we would just go into their cabin and they would help us with that and in fact whenever i used to perform poorly also i used to go and i used to talk with them and they always used to motivate motivate me and they always told me that you should remain confident and you should focus on what your strengths are you will surely improve so this 
whenever i scored badly their motivation always helped me so actually i didn't perform that well in 11th but when i started coming to the offline center in 12th and the peer group that was provided by fitji and the motivation provided by the faculties helped me pull up my socks and improve my performance in 12th which is why i am uh, able to get such a rank in the exam so my message for the future aspirants of je is that you should work hard focus on one task at a time and don't be anxious about the final result result all the time just focus on what you are doing currently i'm really grateful to my parents the faculty at fitji and especially the systems at fitji which has always pushed me to be better and the result of that is the rank that i have today so i'm really grateful thank you